Pandas Asimo, the humanoid robot, stands a bit over 4 feet and weighs in at 119 pounds, but its developers have packed a whole lot of functionality into its modest frame. Asimo can do sign language, play soccer, and even serve drinks. Shalom, and welcome to another installment of Apostles of GMS, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Today's topic is going to be entitled, For We Are Not Ignorant of Satan's Devices. I'm going to have you read the scripture. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, um, when you go into the Greek, the word there for devices is no armor. And it says a mental perception, thought, and evil purpose, that which thinks the mind, thoughts, or purposes. Now, the main purpose is that so-called New World Order, which is on the back of your, your $1 Federal Reserve note. You know, a lot of people, still in 2015, a lot of people don't know what that pyramid with the all CNI on top of it means. All right? And it, what it means is it's not there for a fancy, funky design, you know? It, mean, it has a purpose. It means, that when you look at the no, uh, Latin words underneath Novus Ordo Seclorium, that is New World Order right there in Latin, roughly uh, translation. And that's what, the de that's what this devil wants to bring. That's what we're in right now. We're in the final stages of the so-called New World Order, which the final stage is that chip, the RFID chip. And, you know, you've had whistleblowers that came out and, and said it. Uh, one guy that comes to mind is uh, Aaron Russo. See, Aaron Russo was not just an ordinary citizen. Aaron Russo was in. He was in the top. Uh, he was. He was up there. Okay. He 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 dabbled with top people. Okay. In particular, one guy. Uh, uh, was it Rock, uh, Rockefeller? Nick Rockefeller. And basically, Nick Rockefeller told him what the plan was. Who won everybody chipped. So that's going back to the word Naoma. We're not evil of. Uh, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. That's the evil purpose, or one of the evil purposes, to bring that so-called New World Order, to bring that chip, to enslave everybody. That's why you have your concentration camps, okay? Oh, also to kill, what, 6.5 billion people, according to the Georgia Guidestones. Okay, that's another uh, one of uh, Satan's devices. All right, 6.5 billion people got to be got to be put to death, you know, because uh, there, there's some of the elites call uh, the wicked elite call thinning the herd. They say there's too many people on the planet Earth. Too much of the resources is being used up. So we got to get rid of these people. Majority of them are useless eaters anyway. Nothing but a bunch of buffoons. So we got to get rid of them. So they got these different programs designed to kill people, destroy them. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because the bottom line is, they, you know, these devils, they don't want to give up their kingdom, and know? they represent death. Yep, yep. In that movie, uh, um, the Planet of the Apes, the first one, you know, you had the scene with Roddy McDowell and uh, Charlton Heston when he read those fictional scrolls, which is based upon the Bible. Uh, one of the citation from the scroll is, "He is the harbinger of death. Shun him." And that's really what the so-called white man is. He's the harbinger of death. He represents death. That's it. Okay, that's what he represents. He doesn't represent life. He represents death. It's either death or life, right? So what does he represent? Death. As a matter of fact, there's plenty of scriptures on it. Um, I got, uh, this is the book of Revelation 16 and 14. It says, for there are the spirits of devils. <clears throat> now, the word devil, most people don't know what the word, word devil means. It means deceiver, diablos in the Greek. It says, for they are the spirit of devils working miracles. Great robots, some of which and they're so-called technology, Number 10, right? Which we're about to get into in this lesson. A bit over four feet. What you're about to learn in this lesson is one of Esau's miracles. Developers have packed a whole lot okay. of functionality into its Which go frame. forth Osmo unto the kings of the earth soccer, and of the whole drinks. world to gather them to the battle of, the, of that great day of the power almighty. 
which is which is talking about over there in the Persian Gulf. That's why you have all these troops coming together, really to bring uh, the onset of World War Three. Okay, but uh, the reason why I brought that scripture out it says work in miracles. That segues into Esau's technology. Seven. You know, termite robots. You had a comment? These little guys yeah. are designed yeah, well, basically because you know this devil's doing all this stuff because he doesn't he doesn't want to go down. He doesn't want to give up his power. And get to work, you know his time is up. You know, matter of fact, I read this scripture real quick. You know to prove that. You know because these devils, you know, they know that their time is up, but they want to fight tooth and nail to keep their society and their kingdom going. You know, and all and essentially, when you go back in history, all those different empires that ruled, they want to keep their empire ruling, you know, longer. But there came a point, in a, 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 a day, in an hour, in a month, in a year, a certain point of time where that uh, particular empire was to go down because there was another empire and on the horizon. You know, and this is uh, Job uh, 14 and 5. It says, See, in his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So basically, the, the Most High gave this devil a certain amount of, uh, a certain period of time to rule. And, once, and we're at the time of that uh, period of, uh, of that time uh, ending. And they know this. So they're trying everything that they can to hold on to that empire and, and keep that thing afloat as long as they can. They don't want to go down. <laughs> Another scripture that ties into that is the book of Psalms 49 11. It says, Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. And that's what that so called New World Order is all about. They want to continue their house. Uh, they also, they also had a saying um, to infinity and beyond. It was one of uh, Esau's uh, sayings. All right, and that ties into the scripture. The inward thought is that their houses, Psalm 49:11, that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. Uh, beginning with the elite, the elite banking families, when they have children, they train their children to be the next generation of rulers. Okay, we know that from uh, how uh, Maya Amshel Bauer, who changed his name to Rothschild, how he trained his sons to become the next generation of rulers, the next generation of top bankers, right? So that's their MO, that's their uh, nature. There it is right there. It says uh, that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. So, you, so who's that talking about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It ain't talking about the so-called Chinese. It ain't talking about the so-called Japanese. It ain't talking about the so-called Africans. All right? It ain't talking about which are really the Hamites, according to the, the Bible. It's talking about the so-called white men. They fit that prophecy. Yeah. yeah, and the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh has opened up our minds to see these things that these devils are doing. Well, those are the mysteries. Yep. yep. Which is given only to who? The, the saints. Come. You know, Colossians 3 and 5. Con. That's why Second uh, Corinthians again two and eleven it says, "Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." So if you're ignorant to Satan's devices, if you don't know what's going on around you, if you don't have your eyes open, if you're not vigilant, if the Spirit of the Lord ain't working with you, you're going to be ignorant to his devices, which means what? You're going to fall into that snare. You're going to fall into that trap. You know. But the Lord is going to make a way for us to escape. You know, but but the same way that he's going to give give the spirit upon his elect to escape, the same way he's going to give the spirit unto the two thirds to fall victim, you know, to those uh, traps. Yeah, you got a lot of uh, you got a lot of uh, different Israelite groups that are ignorant to this devil's devices. And um, if I just read this one scripture, Isaiah fifty six and ten, it says, "His watchmen are blind; they are all ignorant." They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleep, and lying down, loving to slumber. That's pretty much, outside of uh, Great Millstone, that's pretty much all those other groups, which they don't go, they don't go into the whole gamut, man. They don't bring out the whole full truth. You know, we through the Spirit, we, we bring out the whole full truth. We, we try to cover through the Spirit all the bases, you know, with the information. That's it. I got a scripture right here which goes... Um, hand in hand with uh, the first scripture that was read, um, we are not um, for we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. This is Job twenty one and twenty seven. It says, "Behold, I know your thoughts and the devices which ye wrongfully imagine against me, 
that's talking about this 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 devil, man. You know? And um like I said, the reason why I entitled it what I entitled it is because um, you know, I found some information and I got a couple of videos I want to show. The first one I want to show is uh this guy Bill Gates. He's doing a lecture and this came out this was on YouTube like five years ago. You know, and there's all kind of stuff on YouTube that Jake don't pick up on, you know? And it seems like we say something, we'll, we'll find certain things. See, we don't just say things. Esau's going to do this and the white man's going to do that. We have the article.